Well, hey guys, we are on part two now for June 3rd, 2023. The longest message the Lord has ever given me since December 30th. Um, anyway, I claim that he's the son of God. He's also God. He came to earth in the flesh and bled and died on the cross for our sins. And he rose on the third day and he was born of a virgin. Um, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. Okay, so we left off on that message, so we're going to go to scripture. He gave me Leviticus 1.7. The sons of Aaron, the priest shall put fire on the altar and lay the wood in order on the fire. And guys, always remember that Jesus is talking to believers, unbelievers, and Jews in every message. And we are on part two, so you have to go see part one so you're not lost. Here's the next message. It's not just one fire. There will be many Lots of cities will burn. Darkness falls, and you, the remaining who comes to me, will have to seek shelter. I will rain down fire and give you a spirit to guide you, to protect you. When my spirit is removed and my chosen ones and children are removed, I will send another to teach you to witness and gather new sheep for my kingdom. I will never stop trying to save you. Revivals and new revelations will commence everywhere. I would rather you be at the wedding feast, but many are not going to make the supper. My door will close when the trumpet sounds. Seven, my child, seven is the key. I love you, believe in me, have faith, and I will save you. My grace is effortless, given to you freely if you accept it. Colossians 3.2 Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Romans 3, 7. For if the truth of God has increased through my lie to his glory, why am I also still judged as a sinner? Zephaniah 1, 6. Those who have turned back from following the Lord and have not sought the Lord nor inquired of him. Nehemiah 2, 7. Furthermore, I said to the king, If it pleases the king, let letters be given to me for the governors of the region beyond the river that they must permit me to pass through till I come to Judah. <clears throat> Nahum 1 8. But with an overflowing flood, he will make an utter end of its place, and darkness will pursue his enemies. Revelation 5, 6, And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Ephesians 2, 4, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love, with which he loved us. Here's another message. Josiah, the king, did he have faith? Now that was cool. So like um, when I was getting the message, like I thought we were done and then I heard Josiah. Josiah and I'm like, who's Josiah? <laughs> I didn't know who he was. But I heard Josiah the king and then he said, Josiah the king. And I was like, oh wow, he was a king. That's so cool. <laughs> I get amazed all the time, guys, because... I hear things and I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. <laughs> so anyway, Josiah the king, did he have faith? Was he reluctant to follow my will? Did he love me? Do you love me? Are you reluctant to follow my will? You follow my commands when you love me. When you have faith and trust in me and believe in me, you have my spirit. All you need is a mustard seed of faith. Do you have it? Or are you oppressing my truth? Have you prayed to me? Have you asked for my will to be freely, to freely be given to you? Have you asked for my will to freely be given to you? Salvation, not a free gift. If you love me, would I not give you what you ask me? If you love me and believe in me, what you ask of me will be aligned with my will for you. 
Again, the path is very narrow. You search the scriptures, but the true meaning of my word escapes you. I want you to read my word and worship and pray to me, but I want you to ask me for guidance and understanding. Remember, the man will never know the truth of what the spirit knows unless they are guided by my spirit. Yeshua HaMashiach, the spirit of truth. John 1.11 He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. Galatians 3.11 But that no one is justified by the law and the sight of God is evident for the just shall live by faith. Galatians 5.17 Can you enter heaven in the flesh? So why are you still walking in the flesh? Why aren't you led by the Spirit? Where is your faith? This is another message, by the way. Where is your love? The spirit of truth is loving one another. The spirit of truth is knowing me and knowing my voice. The spirit of truth is forgiveness. Put down your fiery arrows from the devil and stop attacking your brothers and sisters. We are all one spirit. And if you are truly one of my sheep, you are mine. And you will never escape my love. I feel his loveness for his love for his children, guys. But you have to walk in love. Truly, I say to you, love is the key. I will change your heart. I will renew your mind. I will give you a new heart flesh and get rid of the heart of stone. I'm testing you children. Are you passing my tests? Are you a wheat or are you a tear? A tear won't produce good fruit. They will be broken off and tossed in the blazing fire. Fire, are you baptized in my spirit and water? Who am I? Am I not your water? Am I not your bread of life? My body was broken so you might live through faith, through believing in me. What did I die for? I'm showing you your fruits. Reader, pay attention. You will wish you had listened. The destruction and chaos coming no man has seen. If you have ears to hear, listen learn. Warnings are final and once my judgment commences you will have to die for my glory. If you believe in me before you die I will save you. But I don't want death for you. I want life for you. My heart is broken. Once my judgment comes my gentleness and kindness is no more. You will be judged as the wicked unless you repent and believe in me. Please, children, I'm trying to save you. I love you and I wish for not one to perish. The dawn is breaking. Look up. I am your redeemer, your rescuer, and I have spoken. Oh, man. Gosh, Jesus loves everybody so much. There's more. So we're going to have to go into part three. But guys, if you don't know Jesus, just please confess that he's Lord. Believe in him with all your heart. There's a reason I stay up almost every night getting his messages. Because he's trying to save you. And I'm not special. He has no favorites. Okay, he loves all of his children. He just chooses people for his will. Okay, and... And I guess he knew that I was crazy enough to be obedient and wreck my <laughs> reputation everywhere and be mocked and scoffed for him. I love Jesus, that's all I can say. And I know not everyone's going to believe, but I'm still not going to stop because I know Jesus wants me to help him save his children. Okay, I love you. Stick around for part three.